could expect from a support Earthshaker. Back. Isis should have a free time here on the top lane. He has Save. a stick uh, going Save. into Helm of Iron Will. And he's been stunned and killed. Again. He does have brown boots, gloves, and blink queued up for GPK's Earthshaker. As Arbed gets a bit of help from Crit. A turnaround play. GPK battling with his Ember Spirit, but overcharged, proving to be quite a challenge for the Earthshaker as EG get their second kill of the game. Fair amount of farm, though. 19 and 5. For the Underlord, wanting the Arcane Boots to keep spamming out the Firestorm while, oh, Ice Ice Ice, four stacks of that nasal goo from Nightfall, but Fly's arrival means the cookie lands. A little Shredder and Crit from the right-hand side, back onto the Bristleback we go. The Blightstone minus armor allows Crit to take the kill. A glorified save at this point with a Decrep. Oh, hello. Another Chains. Kingslayer getting body blocked up. Doesn't have stomp leveled up. So another one there, four to nil. And you're feeding the air eventually when we start getting kills. EG considering this mid lane again, but DM has planted himself in front of the tower. Pretty tanky with a Vanguard, but Mortimer's kisses with a magical damage from Fly, making short work of the Underlord. Arbed will claim his killing spree, and now the tower can get pushed, but Arteezy bottom Armour toggle. Armour toggle. He's gonna He's move waiting. all the way back to his tier two. He's fine. And they've actually swung into action with Arbed and Crit, relocating to try and see if that fight continues. GPK. We want to go in here with a blink and chat, the decrap and life drain, but the relocate out. Inching forward. They want to force EG into a fight. They they want to face off and match against them. Crit taking a lot of damage. But relocates back to Fountain. Now, does EG TP here to battle, or do they just let this Crit is gonna be first relocate first home? Kill. Oh, there's, there's, there's Wolves. Wolves up top. Wolves up top. Tether home. Stomp is coming. Be beautiful. Gorgeous from VP. Like, that could not have been more beautiful. Or do you consider giving Abed the, the wolf bite? No way. You you gotta bite the, bite the knight there, huh? Ice, ice, ice. There's a swarm of VP heroes coming his way. Elder Titan, Spirit Stomp with the help of the Decrep. And then comes GPK. He wants the last hit. Easy picking. And still two minutes on the Aegis. Nothing being forced. First Roshan has been like this for a while though, hasn't it? You don't really want to push... Oh, hello. What's this? Action. It's Artesian Crit finding save. But we're going to have a trade. Nightfall and King Slayer pair up to take down the IO. Switching off the little ball of light, extinguishing any hopes Crit had of survival and Nightfall. Diving behind tier two, but Arteezy is going to twirl Spinning on the around. spot. Pirouetting in front of the Bristleback. You've upset him. You've upset the Bristleback now. Meanwhile, on the top lane, Crit getting caught inside the pit. Road of Athos. Underlord will be the one buying the Crimson. To mitigate some of the EG's big timing. Get that level 18 on Dragonite, Aghanim Scepter on Lycan, bite the Dragonite. RTZ and Crit again being found by GPK. Echo Slam used out on the IO and they'll blow him up, but that stomp not quite landing in time. But yeah, the big difference here, you know, Bristleback, of course, leading out in front, but two dire supports slightly ahead of their counterparts by about a thousand each is really where that net worth difference lies. Rodovatos, though, onto the Dragon Knight. Decrapped and life drained. Cookie away from the pit. Still looking worse for wear, though, on Arteezy as the kisses are forced out. Arbed with a two man chain. Save the decrap and the life drain again, but Arteezy's dead. Training for the Pugna. Not ideal for EG as Virtus Pro forced the BKB from Arbed. This Bristleback is very hard to deal with right now. Going in, they don't have a Silver Edge. Starting to shut EG out of the rest of the map. Fly, cooking around. GPK's Earthshaker caught up in the bowlers, but Nightfall, here we go, sprinting forward. Bristlebacks arrived. Fly down and out. Arbed and Crit and running for their lives. GPK's in there, though. He'll try and line up the Fisher. The slight dodge not working out. No for BKB Arbed. for three seconds on Arbed. GPK. He BKBs himself, is. but there it is. Yeah, you're right. Remnant off to the left hand side. Arbed's still being chased down. He's got no more remnants. But with the help of Crit, tethered up and healed, 
Well, I saw, I saw he's shape-shifting inside his own base. Not a he's going for a spirit vessel. Philly helping out uh, quite a lot. Rightful. Yeah. This is a 1v5. The Dire of Scanned, but Arteezy. Well, he's dragon formed and wolf formed now, so the three halves come into play. But look at him die to this life train. They need to cook him away. Crit tethers back to the southwest for the Echo Slam from GPK and destroys Arbet. Nightfall's found a pickoff in the back line. does not have a TP, no cookie for a couple of seconds. Yeah, they, they just have to let him go. Three for nil. They might find Kingslayer here. They also found the courier. The Thunderhide getting the first kill FREG in the past few minutes. That top tier one still standing, 27 minutes into the game. Smoke broken by Nightfall. Look at him go in. They get the shape shift off, but the two-man Fisher, GPK stunned with a nice dragon tail. But what now? Life drain keeping him alive. Earthshake is fine. Nightfall BKBs blocks out Ice Ice Ice. The Lycan's nearly died. He's run off to the right hand side. Oh, Arteezy, he just can't do any damage. They remnant Arbet into the back lines, but a Fisher being lined up by GPK just allows Nightfall to keep pummeling the DK. Good remnant from Arbed, but a double buyback from EG is the most important thing here. Ice 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 dropping low to Nightfall. Cookie away and a good searing chains might buy enough time, but he's, he's too slow slowed. to a crawl and a jump from GPK. Seals the deal. GPK once. Very nice. Erupts at the location. Martinez oh, flying over the treetops, escaping through the jungle, but crit. Ooh. Well, he's relocated. Hmm. Looks pretty dead to me. No wolves this time around. Arteezy showing himself. Yeah, crit will relocate back into the waiting arms of his mortal enemy. Arteezy has no charges. Also, there is still Aegis available on Bristleback. Yeah, good luck killing Nightfall twice, because he's about to break your smoke. Didi's still there, like you're saying, down in the bottom spot. Abed remnanting forward. They will spot DM. Tanky Underlord pops his Crimson Guard, Lotus Orb is up, and the Decrep will save him. What? Nightfall finds Crit all the way to the back. They've slapped up the DK. Blink Echo, stunning. Uh, not quite killing Abed, but still putting him out of contention in this fight. He chains up the Pugner, flies over the top of him. Save is close to death, but they got the Aegis. Amber down, no back, and <laughs> stop that creep from dragging any waves around. But Arteezy, oh, the Decrep life drain. They're managing it, thanks to this tether, and the cookie away. But there's nothing stopping Vertus Pro. Mortimus Kisses looking to kill the creep wave. And they do have another one coming in about 10 seconds. It's halfway down the mid lane. As Arteezy in the wolf form, trapped in the pit of malice. GPK with so much physical damage, it's just going to shred through Artur. His BKB and the tether is up. Yes, Arteezy is still alive, and he toggles through with the armor. Can they defend the throne? It seems like they cannot. It doesn't look like it. There's no glyph here for EG. Nightfall, he still has that Aegis for a 55. minute. 55. I'll bet remnants to the back lines. They need to find some kills, any kills, but Arteezy, he's being held up by the tether, standing his ground, but no amount of toggling will allow him to survive, and GG is called. Virtus Pro with a beautiful timing hit. 15 minutes in that game, and it suddenly fell over. Yeah, I mean, they had no kills. That uh, does not matter because this is what they played for. This is what save and Kingslayer on the Pugna Phoenix. I think in this series so far, it is you know, squirrel away some money, save. All that gold you're getting, build up bank, invest, invest, invest. But DM, he's being surrounded now by EG who want to get the first kill of the game, and who are they giving it to? DMs are dying, and it's Fly who draws first blood. What's he up to? Oh, he's dying. Another kill for EG. It is. Fly getting both of them. You've got to feel real good about him. Well, six Bring the healing Sal for Arteezy. He tries on Kingslayer, six minute rune. It has spawned up top, looks like a regen. As our bed looks to go claim it. Even spends an astral step, flies over Kingslayer, finishes him off with the resonant parts, but GPK, he's there with a slam down, and our bed, well that decrap not really working wonders for them, but they should be able to finish it regardless. Oh, dissimilate to oh. the left-hand side. He baits them, Stick. juking left and right. Our bed, he's, he's clear, he's high and dry. 
GPK, no points in Fisher. That would have been a secure kill, but uh, decided to go for a more lane oriented build. And Fly refills the bottle for him because look at Save. He was looking, lurking, wanting that backstab onto Arbed, but he stuck around in the top lane. The fourth kill of the game potentially coming now. Ether Remnant not going to catch. The Astral Step is there into the back of DM and yet another. Four nils. That was such a big play. They're still fighting on such low HP and mana. Arteezy battling back with save. Crit in the mid lane though. Maybe the first death of an EG member as that Enchant Totem hits some real serious damage. DM has a Vanguard now, so tanking up on the Centaur. Bound a strike with that astral step forward, save, gets obliterated by... At the bottom lane, one rotation with the Doom, and he's dead. He needs to move out. Well, if they can contest these stacks, there's even more money flowing into the coffers of EG. Ah, bad. He's done some real good damage to this. The Stampede forward, though. Fly being blown up. Save and Nightfall make short work of him. And Arbed TP's home, so stacks somewhat defended. And Monkey King, speaking of scouting, spotted DM farming a little stack off to that top jungle. And Arteezy returns the top lane to push a tower. Not an easy kill on his Centaur with his Vanguard. They're going to have a try anyway. It looks like Monkey King, after that Orb of Corrosion, heading into an Orchid. But first, it's a Doom onto DM. Monkey King leaping. Try while springing down, but not landing onto DM, while Arbed solo kills Kingslayer, DM dies top in the tower. Looks like it's free and wide open for EG. Position 4 doesn't provide you with that ganking potential, it's more about uh, post 10-15 minute game, what he provides, save. Once again, in trouble. This feels much better from EG compared to game 1. They're piling on the pressure, while also building Blank up this Arteezy Echo Luna. is available. And he moves on to Arteezy. Down to half HP, and Chant to him again, and Nightfall arrives. EG had squandered their position, leaving the Luna completely isolated. Had a bit of a false sense of security. Silencer was not level 6 to pop the global silence, but uh, seems like this uh, could be a kill. It could be, yeah, without yeah, that arriving. It with absolutely Void Spirit, should be. Gonna be a kill. Void Spirit's there. Not that Roche that I talked about, this is a big, big kill if EG can get it. Global Silence is available. And they're straight on him. Global Primal Spring and Silent Stuff. Down goes the teddy bear. Doesn't feel particularly good. Our bed not scouted. The dire scan. I don't know if that clipped onto Arteezy, but they seem to know that something's there. Stampede forward onto our tour. The Luna blown up completely. No real turnaround here for EG. As they've got our bed nearby. Maybe a single pick-off onto Save or someone as he dissimilates away from the life drain. And they will get a one-for-one -one trade. They get that kill as well. Ursa about to finish the Defusal Blade. They still have a window of opportunity. 45 seconds until Global Silence is online. Earthshaker pinging out Void Spirit. Yeah, they go in on him. And the Echo Slam spent onto Abed. Huge kills there on Arteezy. ...from Virtus Pro. And they want to keep it close. DM has that stampede, so if he does not get uh, doomed, he will be popping it. And they jump in. Well, the globals. Uh, 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 bet disappears. There's so much damage from the Earthshaker. Plus 30 base damage talent from Earthshaker, Power Treads, and the Enchant Totem. That's 500 damage. My goodness. Arteezy and Ice Ice, they're breaking back up this high ground into Triangle. Two man boundless. But they're still an Ursa moving forward in rage. Before that Doom landed while GPK's Earthshaker contending with the Arteezy Luna. Looking to bail away. Control this Roshan and think about taking that Aegis for themselves. While a de-warding game begins. EG, get the Monkey King away from GPK. Any high ground vision there is from Fly. But taken out immediately by the Earthshaker now. A sentry there. Oh, can they keep going? No, he's DM. He's going to pull him crit. back down. Yeah, GPK's down on the low ground now. But a fish on the two. They turn around. Arbed gone again. Crits in with a boundless. But he's been cut from the trees. Oh, VP. Luna ulti will deal damage from behind. Now she's disarmed. But now she's alone. Lacoste. EG are crumbling and falling apart. Virtus Pro, they come out again. 15 minutes into the game, they get a in.
Mouse turn off. Yeah. All right. No yeah. jokes. Sorry. They, you know, <laughs> just to be sure. No jokes. We got it. Said it twice. A couple of walls now being placed down south, but in jumps the Ursa. Nightfall finds out crit. And Reg is up. Keeps the hits coming. Meanwhile, in that dire jungle, Doom is being echo slammed into the ground. Sent back into the depths of hell where he belongs. Abed has one astral step to work with. Ursa, not close. He's in the triangle, evading. Uh, so Luna cannot farm there. Abed. Dissimulate used. They know. They, they, oh, they definitely just know now. That, that's his last step. He's got one in three seconds, but he might just be dead. <laughs> oh dear. Creating nice little avenues in towards this EG side of the map, towards their base. GPK needs to be gone careful. Gone global gonna pop. Well, he's got life train behind him, but you're right. The global stops that, puts an end to GPK's nonsense. There's EG striking back at long last. But in comes DM with the help of the Supernova, stampeding back towards Arteezy. Where is it? Nightfall's arriving, crit is low, and down will go. They found Arteezy blowing him up. DM has another blink in two seconds. Fly in a spot of bother here, isn't he? Yeah, blink stomp. They've caught the silencer. I don't think Nightfall even needs to arrive. Oh, They've got so damage. much magic they damage. Amplify plus double edge, just amplify. Oh, now EG scrambling just to try and clear waves cut out as much as they can but crit once again found by nightfall every time this ursa sees the monkey king rips him limb from limb they've got to know something's up high ground vision there it is pop the smoke get the global but fly disappears before our very eyes astral steps means that our bed returns to base and, and it's also the same sound so it kind of gets confusing it does yeah oh that fisher oh that's easy yes oh he has the BKB! Inside the base, BKB, he was Fresh. afraid of getting Echo slammed. He just bought it as well. That was meant to be a turning point. Is it a good balance strike? Double wall stop. Knight falls in. EG need this for the two-man Echo from GPK. Get them a double kill for save. Nice no aside. buybacks. Doom. They doom. But what now? They die. They doom and they die. Three for one trade out and save is the only death. Nice eclipse out there. That's going to be a kill. Kills off GPK thanks to Arteezy. But the Sunray keeping them healthy and alive. Yeah, Fly is going to pay with his life. Four staff on the high ground, Blink but force. the DM is ready. Blinks up there, stomps him down. A dominating streak for DM Centaur. It's like it's one of those games where it doesn't matter if you get a four staff, uh, if you get a full Hurricane Fight, uh, Manta style. Onto Ice Ice Ice. They are the ones that start the fight. VP with a blink echo from GPK makes damn sure the Doom is dead. Now our bed and Fly, they'll TP Void Spread away, but Fly not going to have the same luxury as he is blasted from Fistic. They need a team fight win and they're not, not going to get there without Oh, they know. They the actually they know. see him? How do they know? He's cut through the trees. They're going to see a dead tree there. Oh, there's a stump. There must be Arteezy nearby. Where are you, buddy? Oh, hello. Hello, Arteezy. The balance strike with the Eclipse, though. GPK gets his BKB off. He's very low HP. He turns, Blink but ready. he's got to try and ah. run away. The hit comes in. EG stomped, though. DM is here. And so is Nightfall. Up end with nowhere to run. Arteezy TPs with not using BKB. There's no stun. No bash. He had basher, but he greedy. Maybe cut the wave after. Uh, in the end, it's just a trade. Well, look at Nightfall. He was top a second ago. Now, now he's killing fly bottom. Yeah, Perfect. Time bash. Straight 10 out. out of 10. Last chance saloon. EG's one chance to shine. Kingslayer's on the high ground. Scouts the Monkey King. Immediate supernova. The eclipse comes. They're going to try and kill off Abed. He's disarmed, but it's Arteezy now. Run. That's the lunar kill they needed. And good game is called. VP with another 32 minute victory over EG. Man, Virtus Pro. Like, they had a bit of a tough time in the game they where they lost with the discipline, but uh, in this one, it was just like...